YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Back at it. This will be our load number two. I think I'm getting spoiled over here because it's a uh, dropping hook. First one was a preload. Well, this one's okay. This one's uh, preloaded too. I mean, this ain't ours, but uh, big enough and pipe. So all we gotta do is strap it. We gotta hook up to the trailer, strap it, and go. We ain't even gotta talk to a person, cause uh, for the dispatch instructions, we gotta go to that little booth over there. Now paperwork's already in. So yeah, got Prime over there. That nice uh, Pete looking nice over there. But yeah, this is what we got. Run up in hand, see if we can find our paperwork on our way to Illinois. Bright, nice, bright and shiny day. Oh, look, we even got a little porter potty for us. Isn't that nice? Let's see, boy. Supplying Company 38. All right, that's us. So, I basically, just got a got Prime and Prime and Maverick and Jordan and Maverick. A whole bunch of people coming in out of here. So, all right, let me get uh, sign this paperwork we'll right back with y'all. All right, folks, we got our paperwork. Now I'm going to take a little stroll and uh, find our trailer. Just, I really ain't in no rush. The load ain't got to be there till Wednesday. We ain't got by like 750 miles. So we got plenty of time. We got rest. We got like nine hours on our clock for the day and the full 11 tomorrow. So I ain't in no rush. Take my time. Get there when we get there. they do that but the see them crates right there there's nothing holding the stuff in the crates you put a strap over it, that damn crate gonna crack that just look like oh, that just look like a disaster right that well prime got this shit, shit done sewn up huh they got a bunch of shit in here five three four six two up oh, this is us Five, three, four, six, two. God damn, they ain't leave no space on this damn thing. Where the fuck am I gonna put my damn tarps? Damn. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna take one of them straps out of one of these and put it back here. Because that's not gonna go past that wheel. So I need to use one of these. And it ain't got no strap on it. So, whatever I don't use up there, I'm at to snatch off and roll it up in here. Oh, I can put my tops on the back. Okay. Why they start so close up front? Why ain't move this shit back? So? I'm going to try to get this shit weed. Make sure this shit ain't overweight. How much does this shit weigh? Hold on. Let's see how much it weighs, shall we? We're weighing out at... 44,400 pounds. Oh, that ain't that bad. Just gotta make sure we're not overweight on our drives. Hopefully we ain't got no flat. Yeah, looking good. Except for that old, <laughs> missing the old piece of board up in that joint. Uh, we got some crates. Nah, no. ah. Why would you put that like that? That small one next to a big one. It's not when I throw a sun. Uh, okay. I had to figure that part out. Well, if none of that shit hit a bump, none of that shit fly the fuck up out of there. Alright. Alright. Let's see. What 
trailer last deal teed. Oh, recently. Okay. We ain't got to worry about that. It was done in March of 2024. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Near Miami do one, because they do DOTs every three months here. They might have me do one. But we'll see. Alright, let's go get the truck, hook up to it, and uh be back with y'all. Alright folks. All hooked up. We just gotta hook up our lines and raise our landing gear. So but now we gotta throw some straps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we got twelve stripes. Okay. So that means I'm gonna have to. You can definitely three on the back. Three, five. I put one here. Six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. I might want to put two on that one. So I'm going to have to add a strap to that winch. I'm going to have to take a strap off that last one and add it to that one. So I need to add a strap. So I need to add a four inch strap. I'll just throw a two inch. That way I ain't got to add a strap to the spool. I can throw that two inch over it. And then I'll throw the, I'll take my other two inch and throw it over the back to hold the tarps. Yeah, we'll do it that way. All right. So, y'all want to see me uh throw some uh, straps with my, with my, with my, my new, well, not new technique, but I ain't having, I haven't figured it quite out yet. This, this, oh boy, it's gonna take some getting used to. Now that damn strap did not go where I wanted it to go. Huh. All right, y'all yeah, wanted to get in the comments and uh, <laughs> help a brother out, because uh, what the hell? What the fuck is this shit caught on? This ain't it. I'm just gonna keep practicing, I guess. Oh, it's stuck right there. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. So that's one. Alright. Try this again. show y'all something now bruh this had to come in here like this y'all see that shit 
it's literally missing a whole section of tire. Look at that shit. Somebody about to be mad when they come pick this up. How you not see that? How you miss that? It's missing the whole. Bruh. Somebody be mad. Because he's going to have to come and wait for them to put a whole tire on that motherfucker. Bruh. Bruh. Hey, look. Better him than us. That shit still hurt. I'm going like this. What the fuck? Ah, dang. Yeah, that shit still hurt. I'm ready to go back to this. I can only put one strap. I might have to put two in the front one and one in the back because unless I do a two inch because the fucking track stops right here. So that strap's gonna have to go here. I need a strap at least here. Which means I'm gonna have to run a two inch over it and put add that four inch to the back to hold the tarps. Cause I'm gonna throw a two inch strap over there. God damn it, bro. Ain't nothing simple. That's what we signed up for. That's what I can't see. There we go. This is what we signed up for. We're doing flat bit. If it was easy. Everybody be doing.
Oh boy, oh boy. Three crates here, but it's a load of pipe on the other side, so this crate right here don't have a strap. Fuck. That extra winch I had over there. Where is that position then? Am I gonna get lucky? You know, like I do is add a four inch strap to it? Probably not. Of course not. Fuck you. All right, I'm gonna throw another twin strap. Twin strap there, and I got a four inch strap on the back for the for the tarps. All right, we we, we still good. We, we still good. Okay, it's it's not it's not bad. Not not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So we're gonna take this twin strap here. <coughs> we'll take this two inch strap, and we're gonna throw it. Alright, y'all pretty give much got the gist of what I'm doing. So let me tighten these straps now. I'll be back with y'all when it's time to go. Good morning folks. Welcome back to the channel. We are in right outside of Chicago at our delivery. About to deliver these uh all right, we done the strap them. I don't know what coating they put on there. But once you strap it down, the damn straps literally get stuck to the damn bike. So you literally gotta unbind that damn shit from off of there so you can get the straps off so get all that i'm about to wind these up and he about to take these off we already got our reload going down to georgia so we're going to do that so let's wind these up y'all done seen me do that a million times i'm sure so i'll wind these up and i'll be back with y'all when he's taking the stuff off So while uh, he's doing that, it's a lot easier to address some of the uh, <laughs> some of the comments versus typing. So 
the trucks that I showed that I said were 30 to 40 grand, those trucks are being sold. They're not the trucks that Boyd are leasing out. Those are trucks that are being sold at auction because they're basically getting rid of them. They kept breaking down, they problem trucks. They, they out of here. They, they decommissioned them basically. They then stripped all the lettering off, all the DOT numbers, everything. They go into auction and regular people can buy them. As for the Mercer load board, my experience is my experience. And from what I understand, and it's like, I'm not, I don't say things and I can't back it up. So, if you're a veteran driver at Mercer, then you're going to see everything. If you're a new driver at Mercer, you're not going to see everything because they're not going to, the way they're looking at it is, and I've heard this from Mercer directly themselves. If you a new driver, they don't know how you operate, how you run, none of that stuff. So they're not going to basically trust you with their good freight if they don't know how you run. So you're just not going to see it. I mean, that is what it is. Like, I compared my load board to other drivers that was there, and we just, we saw different loads. Like, it is what it is. I mean, I, I understand why they do it. You know, maybe it's, it's not fair that they do it, but I mean, it, it is what it is. It's they come, they can do what they want. You know, it's like that first in, first out. That's a whole other topic, but I ain't at Mercy no more, so it is what it is. Um, there was one other thing. I can't even remember what it is right now. What I remember... I'll let y'all know. Oh. Mr. Uh, I uh, want to keep jumping companies. I can't stay with a company more than a year. Bruh. I guess you haven't watched all my videos. You haven't been following me since the beginning because I was with J.B. Hunt for well over a year. I decided I wanted to switch over to Flatbed. I went to Mercer and I sat there for two months not working. Because they said they had brand new trailers, everything's ready to go. I get there, they got trailers, but they ain't got no tags. I sat there from May till damn near July when they finally decided they wanted to order some new tags because the tags, quote unquote, got lost in the mail after they had it sitting there for over a month. And it wasn't just me. It was like 12 other drivers all sitting there waiting for license plates for trailers. You know, so it was like... I had a truck note that had to be paid that I couldn't pay. Then it took them about three weeks of us sitting there decided, oh, we're going to give you all like $700 a week. The hell am I supposed to do with that? But either way, I mean, it was good, good, good notion, whatever. But, you know, it's just, it, it wasn't a bad, it wasn't a good start for me. Then with the whole load board situation, I'll go home. I can't find a load out. Then you got a deadhead three, 400 miles to, to get a load. So yeah, I left. I'm not going to stay at, at a bad situation and, and, and lose everything. Like, that's what you choose to do. You go right ahead. I got a homie over there now. Danny about to lose everything. He's struggling to make his, make his fucking truck note every month. He's struggling to keep up for repairs. He can't even afford to put tires on his trailer because he's not making no money over there. But he don't want to leave because he's been there two years. And he don't want to try nothing new. I mean, to each his own. I mean, it is what it is. But I'm not going to stay somewhere where I, I can't make no money. So, you know, when I went to Wiley, I never planned on leaving Wiley. I came up with an injury that fucked me up. See what I'm saying? I had to be out for a couple months. You know, but it's like, you know, it's just, so I came somewhere where I will not put as much stress on my shoulder versus staying at Wiley. So, yeah. But, you know. Everybody got their own opinion. And, uh, you know. It is what it is. I, I choose to share my journey with y'all, so. I, I was prepared for the comments, you know, and all that good old stuff. And, you know, I ain't mad. I'm just, just explaining to y'all what it is. So, we're going to get this unloaded. We're going to head over to, uh, I, I don't even know where it's at. It's not, it's not that far from It's like 20-something miles. But I read the reviews. <laughs> they said, pack a lunch. You're going to be there for like five, six hours, so. We're gonna guess we're gonna see the five six hours, but it got delivered in Georgia by tomorrow. But it's tomorrow night though. It's like a 
like a seven o'clock delivery. Like they must take 24 hour deliveries or something. It's like a seven o'clock at night appointment. So we had plenty enough time to make it and we got the hour. So we deliver that and then we'll see where we go next. It's Memorial Day this weekend. So we're going to try to uh, just make it home by Saturday so we can spend a little time with the family. This day and the third and uh, head back out on Tuesday. But most likely they won't give me a load going up that way. It's probably probably gonna deliver somewhere in Massachusetts or New York or something like that. So we'll probably leave out on Memorial Day, probably like that afternoon to get ready to deliver Tuesday morning. So, but we'll see when you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So we're gonna let him finish unloading, and I'll see y'all at the next stop. Got it. We made it to uh, Atcor. Still out here in uh, Harley, Illinois. And man, guess what we got? Another preloaded trailer. All we gotta do is strap it down and tarp it. And we're gonna go out of business. So we ain't had to worry about them uh, bad reviews. Cause uh Yeah. We about to get about this joint. So let me strap this joint down and tarp it. And I'll see y'all later because uh I don't think they're too keen about uh, recording in there. So we'll catch y'all later. Alright folks, y'all hooked up. Tarped up, bungeed up. Time to hit the road. At least I thought so. So, it's, it's my tarp job. Not bad for somebody who's been going a couple months. Got a big ass hole in the tarp right there. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think she look that bad. Look pretty good for somebody that's been going a little bit. Back a little fucked up. But hey, she gonna ride. So, picked up a new trailer. And uh, I thought I was going somewhere, but I'm not. Because uh, that turn on signal right there is out. And there's no paperwork on the trailer. There's no registration in there. No DOT, annual, no DOT paperwork for the annual inspection. Ain't nothing there. So now I got a car driver support. Most likely they can email me the registration and I'll go to a truck stop and print it out. But I'm not going to have the paperwork that goes with this sticker. Which means I'm going to have to go get another DOT inspection. I'm sure that's what they're going to make me do. Such a joy. Such joy. Just when I thought I was going to get out of here in a decent time. So most likely I'm going to go to the Loves. It's not that far from here. And we'll sit in line and wait for them to see. But it lights up. It just don't. It's crazy for everybody that lights up. It just ain't flashing. Oh, now the motherfucker want to be working. Right. Wait a minute. And I was doing a light test and the turn signal came on. That damn thing wasn't working. Now I want to work. If that's the case, I can get my paperwork email and I'll go about my business. When I was doing a light test, that shit was not working. Oh, now the motherfucker wanna work. You son of a bitch. All right, not gonna be as long as we thought then. So I did a light test for all the lights and stuff to come on. When the turn signal on that side came on, that joint ain't come on. But it's working now, so it is what it is. We gonna uh, go to the office and get our paperwork. We're gonna scale out. And we're going down to Cartersville, Georgia. To another ad court. Uh, where's my pen? Oh, where's my pen? So, let me uh, do all that stuff. I'll be back with y'all. What's going on, folks? Welcome back. We just made it out here to ad court. Well, not just made it, but. I can't record and I gotta stay in the truck, so. But we getting unloaded. 
got here like five, ten appointments for seven. They put me right in the door, untarped, unstrapped, you know, unbungeed, and we're getting unloaded. So the bad reviews about the delivery spot, they had bad reviews, but hey, they get me getting in out, so I ain't complaining. So we got our reload. But um taking us to the house. Pick it up in Perry, Georgia, but it doesn't load till the morning. So they allow overnight parking. So we're gonna go there, spend a night there, get loaded first thing in the morning, and head home. And hopefully we could beat some of this uh Memorial Day traffic. So because we should be home today's Thursday. We should be home hmm, Saturday midday if everything works out. So I'll see y'all folks in uh, Perry, Georgia. We're going to Innerfor. We got uh, a load of lumber. They got to be tarp. So that's one thing about Boyd. 60 to 70% of their loads are tarp loads. So you want to come here, be prepared. You want tarp a lot. There's some loads that's pre-tarped. And some you got to tarp yourself. And some, most of the loads are pre-loaded and stuff. So, you know, it's, it's a mixture of both. But I'm having fun so far. So, but I'll check back in with y'all in uh, Perry, Georgia. Good morning, folks. Checking back in. We are in Cartersville, Georgia. Spend the night here. Could be delivered in a... Uh... No, I'm sorry. We're in Perry, Georgia. We delivered in Cartersville yesterday. <laughs> we got out of there in like two hours. Uh... Then we had to pick up here first thing in the morning. So we just deadheaded here last night, spent the night outside at the gate. So, checked in, it's like 7 a.m. now. And the great part about this, I still got two trucks in front of me. But hey, we about to, uh, we have a forklift driver coming to get us, get loaded up, strapped down, tarped. And we could on get on get on the road. Hopefully we don't uh that this Memorial Day traffic don't kill us. Don't kill our clock. We're gonna have a full clock when we leave out here. We're gonna have all our time. But I don't know. It's in a four. that nice lumber and stuff. Uh, get strapped down and get to the tarp station I'll be back with you good morning folks welcome back to the channel it is Tuesday day after Labor Day Craig probably I was supposed to record a video last week and drop her over the weekend I'm I forgot just like I forgot to start recording when I got here and I'm done and done I've done untarped and every damn thing the man only got Two bundles left. But yeah, we are paying New Holland PA. Don't have a reload yet because it's only uh six thirty in the morning. So so it's only five thirty in Alabama. So we gotta wait a little while. So we're gonna find ourselves a somewhere to park and relax. But um and you guys that got a T680 with a Cummins in it, how often y'all got to put cooling in your truck? Because something ain't right. I feel like I got to put cooling in the shit every couple days. At least, at least once a week. I got to put like at least half a gallon in that joint. It's always at the minimum mark, sometimes a little lower. And I always got to add cooling to it, so... I don't know if that's a uh, a good thing or a bad thing, or if that's just normal. But I don't feel like it's normal. But hey, some you know, first time with the Cummins, Everything everything act different. So if y'all guys got Cummins, y'all let me know, cause uh, this mother about to go in the shop if that's the case, cause I ain't trying to at least purchase no truck and damn thing drinking cooler and not be stuck with that high ass repair bill. It was covered under warranty, but still, who the hell want to deal with the downtime? 
and not making no money. So let me know. So we're about to uh, let me finish this. I got to tighten these straps down, but not tight, tighten the tarps down. Put them in there. And uh, most likely, we're probably going to get a preload out of, out, of Ar out of Arconic and Lancaster. We're probably going to get some coils or something. So that's probably what our reload is going to be. So, but I'm going to finish this up. And uh, I'm going to get my butt on the road. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here. Because this ends last week's loads. Because I picked it up Friday. Got on Saturday and delivered it today. So we're going to end this here. So I'd like to uh, thank everybody for subscribing. I never knew the first time I seen these on a company truck. Got double coins on here. First time I seen double coins on a company truck. Usually I always run Bridgestones or Michelins or something. I've never seen gold, double coin on a on a company truck. But, okay. But yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Appreciate everybody for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video.